Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, 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 hello. dear hello. students. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Very well. I'm going, doing great. You doing great? Good? Yeah. So far, so good? Repeat. So far, so good? So far, so, so, far, good. so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Hey. And you, teacher? How about you, teacher? <laughs> Well, well, well. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Hello. Can you, I can hear you. I can hear you. What's your name? Cindy Maria. Hi, Cindy. My name is Caleb Nunez. Nice to meet uh, you. Nice to meet you too, teacher. I'm sorry. What's your last name? My last name is Figueroa. Figueroa? How do you spell Figueroa? That spell F. E, G. F, E or F, I? I, sorry. <laughs> it's I. F, um, I. I, U, E, R, O, A. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Practice makes perfect. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hello. How are you doing? I can see I can see some faces. I can see some faces. Yes. Uh, how are you doing? Please remember, friendly reminders as usual is that um, we must have the camera uh, feature activated. That's part of the Insta4 protocols. Remember, I always, I always need to remind you because that's that's very important. That's part of your, that's part of your attendance. Okay, so it's very serious. You, um, I mean, you can be in your sofa, you can be on your hammock, you can be on your bed, right? But <laughs> you have to have your camera activated. Hello, everyone. Hello. Are you ready? Are you ready for your class? Yes. Yes, teacher. Sure. Hey, last hour. Last hour of English class of this week. Yes. This is, this is the final hour of this week, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'll see you until what? Next Monday? Yes. It's going to be a long time. So you got to practice, guys. You got to practice. Let's start with feedback. What do you remember from yesterday's class? ¿Qué aprendimos el día de ayer? What do you remember? Uh, el abecedario y como the alphabet. Spelling. It's spelling. The it's alphabet and spelling. spelling. Wow, 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 wow. Can, you have been practicing to say your first name and your last name and then spell your first yes, name and your last name, yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, why don't we see some shots? Why don't we see some shots, some examples? For example, Mr. Rene, can you try? Good evening. Yes, good evening, Fisher. Try. Um, greeting. Hello. Uh huh. Greeting. Um, Lo que aprendimos ayer fue también. My name uh, is. My name is uh, Rene. Uh -huh. And my. Spelling, last name spelling, spelling. Is Esquivel. Rene, that's. That's. R. That's. R. E. N. E. Okay, don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Practice makes perfect, right? Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Try your last name. Try your last name. Try your last name. That's... What's your last name, Rene? My name. Oh, okay. Last name. Last name. What's your last name? E S U U I B E L. 
Yeah. Now, now you say my last name is Esquivel. That's that's. You understand? E okay, okay, okay. Are you practicing? Are you are you really <laughs> practicing today? Be serious. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What about what about? Let me see, Andrea. Let me see, Andrea. <laughs> Gonzalez. Hola. Hi. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, my name. Okay, uh, hi, my name is Andrea Burgos. Um, and that is... Uh, Andrea, for example, is what? What's the spelling of Andrea? A-M-D-R-E-A. -E I'm sorry, can you repeat? Of course, A M D R E A. Good, good. What about your last name? What's your last name? My last name is Gonzalez. That's G O M Z A L E Z. Correct. Gonzales. Correct. Now, remember, remember, Andrea, you're speaking in English, so you don't have to pronounce Gonzalez as Gonzalez in Spanish. You have to put a little, a little uh, uh, spicy sauce right there, right? Like Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Try, try to adapt everything, everything. You have to adapt everything to your second language. That's English, okay? Okay. Great job. Great job. Let's go with where? Let's go with... Who has camera activated? I need to see camera activated, guys. What about Anna Moreira? Let's try with you. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Um, my name is Anna Moreira, but I am to speak Hanna in Spanish. Um, that um, A N A. And my last name is Moreira. Is that M O M O R A I R A? Hmm. We're going to practice. We're going to practice letter R. Repeat R. R and you I'm open your mouth, R. right? Because they have no kidding out of boca, guys, right? With the letter R. <laughs> so you have to pronounce it M O. Pueden ir de dos en dos, guys. Pueden ir de dos en dos. M, en el caso de Ana, su apellido es un poquito largo, right? So pueden ir de dos en dos ya con la práctica, right? Like M O R E R E R E R E R E R E Su apellido es un poquito confuso porque, right, tiene las tres vocales más difíciles, las que más se confunden. Right? A I E. A I E. A I E O U, like the bowel. All right, all right. Practice, practice. Let's go with Alexandra Rendon. Can you try one? El último ejemplo y comenzamos, chicos. Hi, my name is Alexandra. And that's L A L E. X A N D R A and my my last name is random that spell O E N D O N. A ver, ustedes que ya, ya saben, ya son expertos en el alfabeto, le vamos a ayudar a Alexandra porque todo estuvo bien, right? A excepción de una letra. A ver, ¿cuál fue? R. Correct. Nice job. Vamos, Ana. Vamos, Alexandra. Everyone. R. Repeat R. 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 As in Robert. R. Repeat R. As in Robert. R. R. As in Romeo. R. R. As in Robert. R as in Robert. Okay. Very good. Very good. R. Okay. 
Entonces, si sí tenemos esa tarea ahora sí, haciendo ya como un comercial ya de tareas, ¿verdad? Eh, aparte de su plataforma, que tienen que ir a surfing, it, right, Navegándole ya, right, eh, Tenemos este audio, donde ustedes van a hacer lo siguiente, right? First name and last name, right? You introduce your first name and you spell your first name. You introduce your last name and you spell your last name. For example, hi, you record, you record your, you record your, your, yes, it's a voice note for me. It's a voice note for me, right? So you prepare it, you prepare it, right? You go like, hi, say hi, it's a normal greeting. Hi, my first name is Elias. That's E-L-I-A-S. My last name is Nunes. That's N U N E Z. That's it. It's over. <laughs> That's all. That's all. It is so see, guys. I need you to practice it. Porque quiero que suenen así. Natural. Okay. You have any question about that? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ese audio lo vamos a mandar así como dijo el, el profesor Joe, creo, de la plataforma en la, en la página Bucaru. No. Este me lo van a mandar a mí personalmente, right? La plataforma tiene sus propias tareas, right? Ustedes, pues, pueden irla verificando y sus propios ejercicios. Entonces, eh, aparte, yo les dejo cositas más, ah, pero ah, es, es poquito porque yo sé que, pues, todos estamos ocupados, ¿ok? Este audio se lo vamos a mandar en privado a su WhatsApp. Pueden mandarlo a, a nuestro grupo de WhatsApp, que sería genial, right? O pueden mandarlo en privado, como ustedes prefieran, ¿ok? Oh, Esto es por tarea para mañana. Para el lunes. Teacher, a más ¿para cuándo? Para el lunes a más tardar, ¿ok? Ok, teacher, gracias. Ok, let's start with the attendance real quick. Let me see. Oops, this is not my group. Ya se me movió esto. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. OMG. There sí, you go. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Este, Podría repetir lo de la tarea. Sí, vamos a dar un ejemplo. ¿Quién le ayuda a René para dar un ejemplo? Digamos que vas a grabar un audio, right? Right? Solo que en vez de mandárselo a tu esposa, me lo vas a mandar a mí. All right? Okay. Vamos este, a ver. ¿Quién se anima solo, a un, Dime, solo una pequeña molestia. Dime. Teacher, disculpe que me acabo de conectar porque tuve problemas de conexión. No problem. Este, me perdí un poquito de lo de la tarea, pero ¿qué, qué, qué es lo que ustedes este, nos han ordenado ahí? Excelente, excelente. Ya estamos todos. Bueno. Yo creo que sí. Este, la tarea es que vas a hacer un audio. Right? Y me vas a mandar tu nombre y tu deletreo de tu nombre. Tu apellido y tu deletreo de tu apellido. That's all. Justo como lo que estamos haciendo ayer, ¿ok? Ahorita vamos Por a WhatsApp. dar un ejemplo. Vamos a ver. Ajá, vía WhatsApp. To my WhatsApp. Eh, ¿puedo Audio. Ver to my WhatsApp. Vamos a ver. Let me see. Dalila, right? Dalila nos va a dar un ejemplo. ¿Ya, yeah, Dalila? The last example, guys. This is the last example. Okay, ready, Dalila? My name is Dalila. Uh, that's D A D A L I L A. Uh, my last name is Romero. That's R O. M E R O. Wonderful, Dalila. Congratulations. That's a perfect Thank pronunciation. You. No correction. No correction. You understand? Entonces, ahí has de cuenta que ya grabaste tu, tu, tu voice note, tu audio, ¿ya? Yeah? Que lo enviaste, ¿ya? Yeah? That's the exercise. As simple as that. Quiero que me quede constancia que ustedes, pues, lo están haciendo natural. Okay, guys. Let's get started. Let me go over the attendance. Let me go over the attendance. Ready? Um, Alan Isaias Cornejo Ramirez. Adam Wilfredo Arevalo Linares. I'm here, teacher. Alan Enrique Rosales Sorto. Present, present. Alexandra Milena Rendon Saldaña. I'm here. Ana Gabriela Murillo Martinez. Ana Margarita Márquez de Castillo. Presente. 
Ana Noemí Hernández de Moreira. I'm here, teacher. Usted como que viene de Brasil, ese apellido suena como brasileño, ¿verdad? Sí, es portugués. Ah, oh, oh my goodness. Todo bueno, todo bueno, ok. Um, Andrea Elizabeth González Burgos. Yes? Present. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Recinos. Present. Ok, Ángel René Esquivel Landa Verde. Present teacher. Ángela María Parada Castro. Present teacher. Antonio Alberto Martínez Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Bernardo Antonio Herrera Díaz. Um, Blanca Elizabeth Fuentes Menéndez. Present, teacher. Okay. Blanca Jamilet Aquino Villa Mariona. Present, teacher. Brenda Maricela Tobar Aguilar. Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernández. Here I am. Carlos Alejandro Perez Caravantes. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I'm here. Carlos Manuel Ramos Cepeda. <coughs> Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla Orantes. Present. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Carmen, yes, right? Okay. And Carmen Lisette Santillana de Retana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cesar Alejandro Ramos Cepeda. Present, teacher. Cindy Marielos Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Lisette Lopez Alvarado. Present. Dalila del Carmen Romero Guerra. Present. Daniela Alexandra Candray Galvez. Present. David Antonio Lopez Torres. Absent, okay. Um, David Benjamin Aguirre Ajala. Present. Got it, okay. And David Esquel Sanchez Munoz. Here I am. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your punctuality. Thank you for the seriousness you're putting to this to this module. Okay, so I'm going to go to the platform. Once again, we're going to move on on our material. Alguien aún no ha ingresado a su plataforma? Alguien aún no ha iniciado a trabajar en su plataforma? Todavía no. Yo todavía no he empezado. Ok, bueno, tienen el weekend, ¿verdad? Tienen, well, remember that tomorrow we have no class tomorrow, right? We have no class tomorrow. Um, Saturday, Sunday, right? So until Monday once again. So I hope you distribute your time very well. Teacher, hasta que eh, actividad tenemos que llegar o es lo que avancemos. Qué buena pregunta. Se lo voy a mandar en, um, en el grupo de chat, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. My pleasure. Ok, let's go with Alan Enrique. Alan Enrique, what is the objective? What is the of? Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Wait. This is what we saw yesterday. This is what we saw yesterday, which is the alphabet, right? Let me see. My internet is a little spell slow. the names of at least 10 folks. For example, your children, wife, parents, etc. I'll give a quick example of that. My daughter's name is Allison. Okay, let's check that example, guys. My daughter's name es Allison. Teacher, ¿y por qué le ponemos ese, esa comita ahí y esa S? Propiedad. Pos yes, property. Yes. Possession. 
possession. El nombre ahí, el sujeto ahí es daughter, que es hija, ¿verdad? My daughter. Entonces, right? Al ponerle el apostrofe y la letra S, pues vamos a hablar de una posesión de mi hija. En este caso, el nombre, ¿verdad? My daughters, pronunciamos la S. My daughters, sin la comita, sin la comita, guys, y solo la S diría hijas, daughters, en plural, ¿ya? Daughters, plural, pero singular, la comita y la S, entonces estamos hablando de algo de ella, ¿ok? My daughter's name, el nombre de mi hija. My daughter's name. Pronunciamos S. My daughter's name is Allison. 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 L. I. S. 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 O. 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 N. N. You understand? Yes. Entonces, si yo quiero deletrear, um, dar la información de mi padre, ¿cómo podría decir, guys? My father's name. My father's name is. Correct. Oh, For example, my father's oh my name is Antonio. Right? Bueno. Y comienzo. That's A, N, T, right? Pausas, right? Pausas, pronunciando letra por letra. No ir rápido, please. Slow. Okay? Let's see. And record yourself on the following website. Bookroo.com After that, you should save it and share the link on the discussion forums. Vaya, ahí está un link, guys, que puede ser bien útil, verdad, para que ustedes practiquen. All right? Pueden tomarlo en cuenta, right? That's on the platform. The idea is to get feedback from the instructor and your peers. Let me show you how that website works. If you go to this website, bookread.com, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the new window here, a new tab. Um, you will see the website. Uh, you should click on this icon that says click to record. It's going to ask you to connect to your microphone. You go ahead and say allow. It's recording at this time. Once you're finished recording, you click stop. You can listen to it. And um, after you do that, you can save. Um, click here to save. It's going to give you this link. And this is the link that you're going to copy. And then you're going to share this link on our. So if you had them, guys, it's a, it's a technica. Share this link. Okay. Yes. Entonces, pueden practicar la verdad antes de enviar yes, su audio, sure. right? O pueden enviarla ya con su link, como ustedes prefieran, ¿ok? All right. So, vamos a hacer, let me see, one last practice, one last practice with the, with the spelling of words. One last practice. Let me see. Okay, very well. So, going to spell family members name okay we're going to that's the exercise we're going to give the information of a family member for example um my brothers and remember to pronounce that right letter s my brother's name is frankie it's true that's my brother's name that's f r a n k why Frankie all right you understand yes okay let's listen to one volunteer one volunteer do we have one volunteer um just well go ahead um de mi mama de mi mama well in english in english and my mom's 
uh, my mom's name is Rita. That's R um, I S T I. Uh, my mom's last name is San Menendez. That's M E M D E. Z. My mom fears. My mom fears. Name is Santos. That's S A N T O S. All right. All right. Sounds well. Sounds well. Still need to practice vowels. Una parte que es eh, difícil son las vocales. Ok, yo les aconsejo que practiquen las vocales también en su tiempo, right? A, E, I, O, U. Ok, you practice your vowels and you practice your consonants. All right, so you can uh, make it perfect. Ok, me gustaría seguir con ese ejercicio, pero como ustedes saben, tenemos poco tiempo. So let's go to exercise 17, spelling names. Do you see my, do you see my screen? Do you visualize my screen? Yes, for sure. Okay, sure. okay, very well, very well. So let me get the um, objective of this class. Help me, Mr. Let me see, Angela Parada. Angela Parada, what is the uh, instructions? No le entendí, estaba un poco distraída. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Instructions, listen to five conversations, okay? And check the correct answer for each. Okay. Let's listen. Si me permite, right? Let me see. It doesn't allow me for some reason. Hmm. Ya alguien de ustedes intentó este exercise? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Me tendría que funcionar acá, ¿verdad? Darle solo play. Sí, en el primero, en John. ¿Dónde? <laughs> Cuesta que se marque para iniciar el audio. Hay que darle varias veces porque a mí me costó iniciar. En serio. Ok, ok, sí. ok. Bueno, entonces, we're going to skip that one. Let's go over this one. Ok. So, let's go over this one. It's the verb to be, ok? okay. That's going to be today's okay. topic. The verb to be, statements and questions. En esto no nos podemos detener mucho, so let's pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be with a response to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left, hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I will be equals to M you're going to use R and for the pronouns he, she, and it then uh, we're going to use is so um, if we look at the examples I'm Jennifer Miller this is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right-hand right side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. 
All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is the subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. And we're going to say he is. Um, uh, mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun they. Uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that you, that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am or no I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop right there, guys. Simple, simple as this. Simple as this. No complications. The verb to be is composed with three auxiliaries. That is, am, is, are. That's the verb to be. Okay. Do you do you remember that? The verb to be is composed by am, is, are. Okay. Now, you have to be able to conjugate the verb to be. Okay, for example, give examples with I am, give examples with he is, right? She is, okay? A ver si me ayudan a conjugar el verbo to be, okay, guys? I. Um, I am. Okay. I am. 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 Very well. Very well. Give an example. I am a student. I'm um, a um, student. I am a student. I am a student. Ese A significa uno o una. Yeah. I'm a student. Muy bien, muy bien. Alguien más de otro ejemplo, please? Mm -hmm. One more example using I am. Hello? I am customer service. I am a customer service. Uh, se dice customer service rep, que es la, como rep? la abreviación de representative. Oh. I am a customer service rep. Yeah. Could you repeat? Okay. Now, you, what is the verb to be for you? 
are. 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 You are. Contraction? Your. 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 Yes. Your. You are my student. You are my student. You are my teacher. You are my teacher. You are my teacher. See the difference? You are. You are. Your. 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 Very well. Very well. Your. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Y eso de you are sería lo formal, lo de oficina. Y lo de your. Ambos. Después, ok. Ambos. En realidad es más recomendable la contracción, les diré. Yours. Yes. Okay. Vamos con él. How do you say él in English? His. His. ¿Cómo sería con el verbo to be? His. 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 Okay. His. 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 Okay. Contraction. Contraction. His. 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 For example, he is my boss. He is or, or my boss. He's, he's my he's boss. He's, he's my boss. He's my boss. See the difference? See the difference? Okay. Can you give an example using the verb to be with he? He. Mm -hmm. He is my father. He is my father. Very good. You can say he is a good friend. Yeah. Yes. Next, one more example. Come on, come she on. He is on. my friend. He is my sister. He is my friend. My brother. He is, he is my, my brother. sister. No, that he is a good person. He is a good person. Correct. He's Amazing. A, he's a, no, he is no. a good doctor. He is a good doctor. He's a good doctor. Awesome, awesome. Okay, thank you for your participation. Subject pronoun, Aya. How do you say Aya? She is. She is. She is. Ya con el verbo to be, ¿cómo se conjuga? She is. She is. She is. She is. She is. Or contracted? She is. 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 She is my mother. Yeah. She is my mother. 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 Ojo con She's esta pronunciación, mother. guys. No es la pronunciación CH, que ahí viene como, como queso, right? Como cheese. Cheese. Entonces, este es she she is 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 my classmate correct she's my classmate continue next he is a nurse i'm sorry he she is a nurse. She's a nurse. She is a beautiful. She is a beautiful. She is a beautiful woman. Yeah. She's a beautiful girl. girl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's a beautiful. She is my wife. Lady. Oh, she's your wife. Oh, okay. She is your wife very well very well outstanding outstanding ahí falta bueno ahí vamos con el it verdad yes. it. it okay how do you conjugate it it, it, it is it is it is sin contracción normal por ejemplo it is a nice house ya yeah? estoy hablando de una Casa. De una cosa, de algo, no de una persona, de algo me refiero a un animal, a una cosa, a una idea, a un sí. lugar. ¿ya? Objeto, cosa. Correcto. Es singular, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, la contracción, ¿cómo sería contracted? It is. 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 It
It is. It is. It is. Repeat, repeat. It is a it nice is. movie. It is. It is a nice movie. 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 La película. De una película. De un evento. Very good. Um, it is or it's. ¿Qué prefieren? It is it's. or it's a movie. It's. It is. It's. 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 it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie. Es más común usar las contracciones. Cuando no usamos la contracción es como que quisimos, como que queremos recalcar algo, ¿ya? Like, como, como I am, right? I am. Ok, so I'm your teacher. Como introducing yourself. Incluso suena más suave. Ok. Let's continue. Ok. Subject pronoun we. Nosotros. Nosotras. We are. We, we are. are. We, we are. are. We are a student. Y se pronuncia igual que qué letra en el alphabet. R. R. A la R. Correcto. R. 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 ¿Cómo so estamos? We are. We are. We are. We are. Ok, contracted. We are. 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 We are Salvadorian. We are Salvadorian. We are Salvadorian. We are Salvadorian. Very good. Very good. Ok, subject pronoun they. Ellos o ellas. They are. 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 Very good. They are. They are. Y ojo que cuando usamos we y cuando usamos they, estamos hablando de singular o estamos hablando de plural pronouns. Estamos hablando de plural pronouns, porque plural we pronouns. es nosotros, o sea, usted, él, ella y yo, o sea, todos estamos incluidos, right? Cuando estamos hablando de they, estamos hablando de un grupo aparte, de ellos, de ellos o de ellas, pero siempre es plural. ¿Qué quiere decir? Uh -huh. Que el so. noun tiene que ir en plural. Right? Si yo en, en, en singular yo decía I am a student, a student, en plural voy a decir we are, we are students. Students. We students. Are. students. Students. Nosotros yes. somos estudiantes. Somos estudiantes, yes. She is, uh, she is my classmate. Ella es mi compañera. Plural. Ella es mi compañera de clases. Plural. No, singular. No. Singular. We, we are students. 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 How do you say, how do you say, how do you say, we are students. We are class. Class. We are class. How do you say, esta es una clase? This is a class. 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 It's a class. It's a class. Y si quiero pasar eso a plural, ¿cómo sería? It is a class. It is a class. ¿Cuál sería el plural de it? It is a class. I'm sorry? It is a class. They are. Very well. They are classes. Estoy describiendo un grupo, un animal, all right? Um, it is an elephant. It is an elephant. It's an elephant. It's an elephant. Plural? They are elephants. 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 Plural. They are elephants. They are elephants. Plural. Elephants are so intelligent. You know that. You know that, right? You know that, right? Bye. Entonces, vamos a las preguntas. We're going to focus on forming the yes or no questions. Yes, no questions. ¿Qué quiere decir yes, no questions? Que son preguntas de sí de no. o no. No. No se requiere mayor información. Solo son preguntas uh, para confirmar cierta información um, específica. Ok. Por ejemplo, excuse me, are you Steven Carson? And the affirmative answer is yes, I am. Repeat. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 
Regla en este caso, guys, no se puede contractar cuando es un yes, no question, ¿ok? Ahí usted no puede decir yes, I'm. Ahí no puede decir así. Ahí mm. tiene que decirlo completo, ¿ok? Yes, I am. If it's negative, you say no, I am not. No, I am not. I am not. No, it's, it's not, not not, it's not. Not, not, not. Repeat, no, I am not. 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 I not. 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 Okay. No, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. I am not. Okay. Are you, all right? Are you, for example, are you from El Salvador? Excuse me, guys. Are you from El Salvador? Yes, I am. 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 From El Salvador. Right. Are you, I am. Are you from the capital, San Salvador City? Yes. I am not. Yes, no. yes I, am. I, am. I am. I am not. 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 ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usando... Porque no es este tipo de verbo que se está utilizando. ¿Qué estamos usando? Estamos usando el verbo to be. Entonces, to be. esa es una, una cuestión que no podemos mezclar. Right, guys? Tiene que haber un orden ahí con la gramática. Y viceversa, cuando estamos haciendo preguntas con do, ahí no puedo responder con el verbo to be. Eh, pero eso más adelante, ¿ok? So... Si fuera una just no question, pero para tercera persona, right? Si se fijan, eh, en este caso, cuando yo hice la pregunta, are you, eh, simplemente estoy pasando el verbo to be al principio, right? Entonces, si yo antes decía, he is Mario, para preguntar si él es Mario, is al revés, Mario. ¿verdad? Is, is, he, he Mario? is he Mario? Y vamos a is ponerle el question mark ahí al final. Okay. Is he Mario? ¿Cuál sería la posible respuesta? Affirmative. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Ahí yo sería yes. He is Mario. Ya no es I am. Ya no es I am, right? Yes, he is Mario. Yes, he is Mario. Yes, he is Mario. Puedo decir yes, he is Mario. What is the negative answer? Yes, I know. No, 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 he no, not, no, no, he is not, not Mario. Not. 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 Repeat, no, he is no, not. He is no, not. No, 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 he is not Mario. Correct. Okay, okay very Mario. well. Vaya, en el caso de ella, right? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta para ella? It's she is Maria. It's she. Y antes decía, it's she. she is Maria. ¿Cómo voy a preguntar ahora? It's she, she Maria. It's she Maria. It's she. Yes. Y damos ese contraste en la entonación. ¿Ven cómo cambia la entonación? It's cambia she. el orden, right? Del verbo to be. Pasa al principio, right? Y la entonación tiene que ser Maria. rising Maria. intonation. La entonación como que hacia arriba, como que de misterio, right? Right? Maria. Is she, is she your girlfriend? <laughs> is she your wife? Right? Is she your teacher? Your, your mom. Is she your mom? Wow. All right. Is she, is she your sister? Affirmative answer. What's the affirmative answer? Yes, mm. yes, she is. Yes, she is my sister. Yes, she is. My sister. Yes, right? Yes, she is my girlfriend. Ah, yes. y puedo decir, puedo contractar ahí y decir, yes, she's. Yes. No. No, 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 no se puede. No. Very good, very good. Okay, what is the negative answer? No, 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 she is, she is not, not, not my girlfriend. No, she is no, not. No, she, no, no, she, she is, is not. not. ¿Puedo contactar no, esa parte? No, she is not. 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 No, she isn't. Very good, very good. Okay. Nosotros. 
We are. We are. We are. Question. We are. Are we? Are we? Are we? Family members. Ah, pero ojo, el noun tenía que ir en plural. Remember? Are we teachers? Are we friends? Are we good students? Yes. All right. What is the affirmative answer? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Very good. Yes, the negative are. answer. What's the negative answer? No, we no, are not. We are not. No, we are not. 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 Or you can say, no, we aren't. No, we aren't. We aren't. No, we aren't. Very well. Very well. Last subject pronoun. They are a class, they right? What is the question for they are? Are they a class? Are they a class? Are they the are they? new students? Ah, are they? What is the affirmative answer? Yes, yes they are. They are. Mm. Yes, they are. They are. Yes, 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 they are. What is the are. negative? Yes, answer? they are. No, no, they are not. No, they are not. No, they are not. All right. No, they aren't. Very good. Very good. Let's finalize this video. Let me see. To me. As I explained previously, um, I've shown you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Right? So we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. And that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example. Are you Steve Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun. You. Okay. So our formula in this uh, Now, instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And, and we'll that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun, okay? And then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here. And there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously, you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? OK. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am I an English teacher? All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is Mario. Okay, if I want to ask the question, I'm going to change the verb to be to the beginning. And I'm going to say, is he Mario? Okay. Guys, si se fijan la primera letra, is... siempre capital letter, right? Cuando es pregunta, siempre la primera letra he... es capital. Uh, mechanic 
is is he at work are they my co-workers plural right co-workers now what i would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own all right all right all right well guys this is it i'm going to check attendance now see how we're doing there you go okay let me mention the people who are supposed to be here bernardo antonio herrera diaz are you here carlos alejandro perez caravantes he's always absent huh carlos manuel ramos cepeda here i am thank you sir and last but not least david antonio lopez torres Absent. All right. Perfect, guys. So, ¿qué van a hacer? Eh, ¿Van a usar el link o lo van a hacer eh, por, el, por el WhatsApp, como ustedes prefieran? Eh, sugerencia es practice. Practice. Vamos a ver, um, David Benjamin Aguirre. ¿Qué te ha parecido esta semana, David? Cerramos nuestra primera semana. Hola, hola. Go ahead. Eh, lo voy a decir en español porque en inglés no mucho. <ríe> eh, la <ríe> okay. verdad que me ha parecido muy... Todavía no, todavía no. Todavía en inglés no, no le puedo dar muchas palabras. Pero la verdad que me ha parecido muy bonito, muy interesante. He aprendido muchas cosas. Sabemos que es un curso ahorita de principiante, pero he aprendido mucho. He sabido cómo pronunciar las palabras, el abecedario, el, la W, yo la decía double, eh, pero ya, ya sé. Pero he aprendido pequeñitas cosas, pero que poco a poco esas pequeñitas cosas se van haciendo muy grandes. Y creo que eso se trata. Y constantemente ir, a, ir, ir practicando, siento yo que eso poco a poco va a ser mucho, mucho. Y pues esa semana me ha dejado algo muy bonito, que son diferentes cosas, pero muy bonitas cada una de ellas, porque se va aprendiendo más y más. Y yo sé que ya me extendí, ya, ya me extendí, yo sé que ya casi, pero decirle a todos que, que nos animemos, que no, 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 no desmayemos, y que sí, puede ser, uy, un montón de, tengo tareas, la universidad, trabajo, y yo oh, en la noche no tengo descanso, pero les sugiero que le metamos, o sea, le metamos y que primeramente ellos todos podamos salir bien y que animémonos, animémonos. Si tenemos amigos, familias, eh, también incluyámoslo porque es muy importante y esto abre muchas, pero muchas puertas. Yo sé que me pasé, pero gracias por la oportunidad. <ríe> Al contrario, gracias, David. Eh, pues las participaciones son bien um, atesoradas, ¿verdad? Así que gracias por todas tus palabras. Y claro que sí, todos estamos súper animados. Tu servidor está muy emocionado de cumplir la primera semana. Creo que la otra semana ya podremos ir con un poquito más de ritmo. Estoy muy muy impresionado con su conocimiento, guys. Eh, yo sinceramente pensé que íbamos a comenzar así de 0000, cero, 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 eh, pero ustedes tienen conocimiento, ¿ok? Así que eso es una gran ventaja para el grupo. Eh, animarlos en el hecho de la participación, eh, quítense la pena, ¿ok? Quítense la pena, sí, estamos con las cámaras activadas, pero um, pues es, es, es una oportunidad única que usted puede pues participar, eh, practicar su idioma. Si algo no suena bien, all right, su servidor lo corrige y ya usted pues lo adapta, ¿verdad? Entonces, participemos, cuando sea hora de participar. Me ha encantado a uh, los estudiantes que lo han estado haciendo frecuentemente. La participación es activa, guys. Es por eso la cámara tiene que estar activa y usted también tiene que estar pues pendiente en estos 60 minutos. No les quito más tiempo porque así somos, right? Tal cual. Ha sido un placer. It's been such a pleasure. You have a great 
weekend yourself. Don't forget my homework, which is my audio with your name and last name and your spelling. All right. See All you right. later. See you on Monday. Happy weekend. Happy weekend, teacher. Happy weekend, Happy teacher. Weekend. Bye. Happy weekend. 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 Happy week